60. Uh, no, I haven't done this. So this is the 1970 Chevelle SS. This is a popular car. The Chevelle is a popular car. I know I know you want to get a picture of it. Can I get at least open the package? This is the Chevelle, um, Chevelle SS. That's a popular car. We've done a lot of them. Okay, and this is the green one. And this is a Thunderjet. Don't forget all the SC359 series. This series just came out. It's SC359. All right, and this just came out. It's Thunderjet Ultra G. Thunderjet Ultra G. Thunderjet Ultra G. Thunderjet Ultra G. And this is SC359. These are just fun to drive around. I could drive around these all day long. This is a Thunderjet chassis. The Thunderjet chassis. I'm going to take this one apart. It's a, it's this is the basically the old fun, uh, um, Thunderjet from Aurora, but Auto World changed it to make it Thunder G Ultra G, which Ultra G is it got a magnet. Really, the only difference to this car is the magnet right here. They added a little magnet, which gives it a little more traction on the track. You can see when you lift it up. If you lift it up, it holds the track. It holds the track a little better than a, a, an original Thunderjet. Now, there are what you, I call them purist. Purist Thunderjet drivers that, no, that's not a Thunderjet. I get it. I understand. But this is the modern Thunderjet chassis by Auto World. They re revised, uh, re-engineered it. And that's your Thunderjet chassis. Ultra G. Thunderjet Ultra G by Auto World. Which I think they've done a good job. Um remaking the line and their cars run really nice now do they run as well as a um a mega traction ultra g plus this is a race master no i mean this is a different class of car that's what you have to understand this is a this is a mega g ultra plus ultra uh, 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 g plus ultra g Okay, I mean, you just li listen to the engine. Listen to the engine. Compared to, to the uh, Ultra G or the... Uh, all right, so that is the green Chevelle SS. And now this is SC359, SC359. And this is the, the fourth car in the series. Now each car has two different cars in this, in the in the um, uh, in their release. Okay, so you know, there's four cars. There's two, and so that's a total of eight cars you would want to buy if you could if you buy them all, which I don't mind if you do. Um, and we have them all. We're gonna list them as a, as an option. Oh, don't forget to click the notification bell. Oh, wrong car. Click the notification bell. Uh, give a thumbs up at ProTickerToys.com, ProTickerToys.com. Don't forget to like the button and, and lots of comments, okay? Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.